Hi everyone, I'm Logan, a founding engineer at Instilly. Today I'll be talking a little bit about Model Context Protocol, or MCP. So currently, whenever you implement anything with AI or LLM specifically, whenever you want to have an LLM act as an agent and execute some type of tool, help you send out an email, help you do some research, you know, understand some type of workflow and action within your system, that tool execution, it's always almost ad hoc coding. It's single use code that doesn't swap between different contexts, cannot be leveraged in other um, work streams or verticals, and essentially you'll be doing a lot of repeated work. Let's say we have an agent here. You want to handle some type of query. And so you develop a bunch of tools associated with that agent. It gets mounted and it's used by that agent, right? You know, send email, get my sales KPIs. How is this process going? How's my delivery going? What's the status around that? Those are tools that you natively embed within your agent. However, when you want to get to more complex use cases, that really gets difficult to manage. And I'll give you an example. So let's say we make this agent like a, like a sales agent. It helps out your sales team with fetching data for some type of particular KPI, right? And you define a set of tools that's embedded within this agent. Let's say we have a different side, an, an ops agent. The ops team is not going to use your system because they have different, you know, set of requirements. However, they might need to see how your sales KPIs are happening and they would have to go to your department and ask for a copy of that code, implement that. Then you get a branched off version, which gets really messy to handle, right? Because this is natively embedded within your sales agent. If you want to duplicate that and makes, you know, management a nightmare, for example, when you want to scale up to, you know, dozens of tools across, you know, multiple different verticals, five or six like different implementations, right? So this is where model context protocol steps in.